called the cowtail switch. There, many, many years ago, in the ancient village of Kundi, was a great hunter by the name of Ogalusa. Now, Ogalusa was a fine hunter and was well known and well respected, and he was a fine husband. In fact, he had three boys, and those boys were strong and growing. One day, his wife comes to him, and she reaches over and takes her husband by the hand, and she places that hand on her belly. And she knows, and he knows, that soon he will have another child. Excited about this new child, Ogalusa, as a hunter does what a hunter does, he decides to go out for a great hunt. So he goes and he gets all of his weapons and he packs his spears and he tells his boys, he calls them together and he says, sons, I am going out for the hunt, but while I'm gone, I want you to take care of the family. I want you to tend to the needs of the family, to tend to the field, tend to the cattle, until I return. Yes, father, they said. And Ogalusa goes off to the hunt. Now a few days pass and Ogalusa hasn't returned, which is not uncommon, because sometimes Ogalusa may hunt for a while. A few more weeks pass. No Ogalusa. The boys are looking out and seeing how the field needs to be tending. And so they went and quickly started tending the fields and making sure the animals were taken care of. Several months passed. In fact, Ogalusa's wife gives birth mm -hmm. to a baby. And while she is holding this baby, the moment it comes, his eyes are wide open, which is unusual. And the baby looks around at all the people. And then turns to the mother and says, Where is my father? And the brothers think, We have not heard from father in many months. And they had even had really had forgotten that he was gone so long. And the brothers decided, We will go out and find our father. So the brothers leave and they go out looking all over the trail where their father would hunt. And they travel for days and weeks and then they came to this spot. And there in a clearing was bones. Bones everywhere. But they knew it was their father because his weapons were nearby. One of the sons says, I have a special gift. I can reassemble the bones. And he goes and he starts shaping and working and putting the bones back together. And then the second son turns and says, I have a special gift. I can put flesh and blood back in those bones. And he goes over and begins working and shaping. And the third son says, I, I have a special gift as well. I can breathe life back into that body. And he goes over to his father and he places his hands on his hands and his mouth upon his mouth and he breathes. And soon Ogalusa sits up and coughs. <coughs> and he looks at his boys and you know what his first thoughts were? What took y'all so long? <laughs> But they were so excited to have their father back that they did what was custom if one could come back from the dead. They carried their father home and they were rejoicing all the way. All the people came out as they heard what was happening. Well then there was a need to throw a party because whenever someone would come back, you have to have a party. <laughs> so they grabbed the talking drum. <laughs> And the village began. And it went from one village to the next. And they heard that in three days there would be a party for Ogalusa, who had returned from the sleep that one seldom wakes. So that's what they did. And as Ogalusa was preparing the first day, they killed a cat. 
And they killed that cow and they were preparing it. And they gave Ogalusa the tail. Ogalusa took the tail and he began to braid it. And then he began to adorn it and put a handle on it. And it was long and beautiful. See, a king often had a special switch. And they would use it to swat flies. And his was the most beautiful anyone had ever seen. Well, the third day finally came, and everyone gathered around, and they were excited to come and celebrate. But everyone who saw that switch, oh, Lucy, can, can I have that switch? That's a divine switch. Can, can I have that switch? And he says, no, no, no. And he waited and walked around. Finally, he says, wait, wait, wait. I am going to give this switch to one of my sons. I'm going to give it to the son who is most responsible for bringing me back to life. Well, in the excitement, all the sons are sitting there talking, the three brothers, and they're, oh, man, it had to be me. It was me. One of the guys says, I don't know. The guy who brought life, he breathed life into him. I think he's the one. No, no, it's the one who actually put the, the sinews back on him. And they argued and argued, and again, Ogalusa said, silence. And he took the switch. And he walked over to his sons. And he walked past them to the baby, whose name was Puli. And he handed the switch to his son, Puli. And everyone in the audience nodded. See, there's a proverb that says, no one is truly dead until they are forgotten. And because Puli was the one who remembered his father, he was the one who had the most important role in bringing him back to life. As we gather as family, many of us have lost others. We are celebrating our ancestors. They are not dead because they are not forgotten. So I encourage you, speak of your love. Tell others the stories of their life, that they may live, and that one day you may live on as well. And that is the story.